Hi, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how we can blend exposures using Raya Pro using three different methods. The first method that we look at is completely automatic. So it's for beginners to exposure blending. So if you're brand new to exposure blending and you don't know where to start, this first technique will do most of the work for you. Now I highly encourage if you purchase Raya Pro to also include the exposure blend like an expert course because exposure blending can be a very difficult task. But that course will show you how to blend any exposures very quickly. So it'll save you a lot of time and you'll come out with the cleanest possible results. Here we're working with two exposures. So I've got a dark exposure as my top layer and I have a brighter exposure as the bottom layer. And I want to take the exterior from this image and put it into this base exposure. Now traditionally this would be a really difficult image to blend, but Raya Pro makes it much more simple. So if you're brand new to exposure blending, we go to the Quick Blend tab and we go to this thing that says Instant Auto Blending. And now we have an option that says Blend Dark Exposure. So I've got my dark exposure selected. I can just press Start. And now we're presented with the option to create or craft our own mask. And if you're not sure what to do here, just leave it and press OK. And when the action is finished running, you can see we've blended the exposures and we have these layers here. Now sometimes when we blend exposures, the blend doesn't look very natural. We lose a bit of contrast exactly as you see in this image here. What we need is for the window to be nice and bright and also the interior to be bright. But instead the blend has flattened the image. Now anyone who follows my exposure blend like an expert course will know exactly how to fix this in the cleanest way. But for beginners, all you need to do is cycle through these six buttons down here. So watch what happens if I move along these buttons, you'll see we can change how the images blend together. So if I press 2, we brightened up a little bit, 3, that brightened up the exterior a little bit more, 4, and each time we are brightening up the exterior of the image. Now I think if I go back to 4, that probably gave us the best selection. Although 3 was quite a good selection too. But I'm going to go with 4 and press select. So now we've blended two exposures, really quickly and that's the before and after. We've come out with a very natural result, much more natural than the HDR software and it only took a few seconds. Now what if you're not a beginner to exposure blending and you want something that's more of an intermediate level? Well, I'm going to delete these layers and delete the mask and these are the two exposures that we originally started with. And now I'm going to go to precision masks. Now in precision masks I can just press auto dark if I have my darker exposure selected. And now we've blended the exposures, but I have these buttons just as before, but this time each button will put a different mask on our darker exposure, and we'll be able to decide if that mask looks good or not. So we're cycling through the different masks. So watch if I press 2, that's a more targeted adjustment, and each time the mask is more specific, targeting more and more of the window. So if I go back to let's say 2, so 1 was quite dark, 2 was brighter, 3 was quite bright, but I'm going to stick with 2 here and press select. And now I know the blend doesn't look very natural just as before. So that's why we've got this option down here called Fix Dark Blend. So if I press Fix, now again the Fix Dark Blend is letting me choose the layer that looks best just as we did in the Instant Auto Blending. See we're brightening up that darker exposure. Now I think 4 works quite well, just as it did in the Instant Auto Blending, so I'm going to press Select. And again, we're left with a really natural blend there. Now whenever we use these exposure blending techniques in Raya Pro, we always leave in the original dark exposure, just in case you want to go back and make any changes. So it's a non-destructive process. Now finally, I'm going to move on to Instamask and show you a simple way to blend exposures using the luminosity masks in Instamask. Now Instamask is definitely for more advanced users. It's an incredible tool that will help us blend any exposures. And I use that primarily in the Exposure Blend Like an Expert course. But for now, let me show you how I blend these exposures. So I've got a darker exposure on top and a brighter exposure on the bottom, just as before. Now I'm going to hide this darker exposure and I'm going to build a Bright One mask. Now let's say that Bright One mask doesn't give us a good selection of the sky. So I want the sky to be nice and bright but we've got some grey clouds in there. I can press this RGB mask button and now we've got our RGB masks and we can choose a mask from the red, green or blue channels. See? So I'm choosing the bright one from the red channel just because I think it gives us a decent selection of the sky 
Then I can press InstaMask again, and we can refine that mask using these sliders. And you see most of the sky has gone white. Then I can bring the mid-tone slider along just to darken the mountains a little bit. And if I'm happy with that, I can press Select here to select that mask. I can choose a black mask on the darker exposure. I can show that exposure. And you see these marching ants around here? I can hide those by pressing Hide Ants. Then with a big white brush at 100% opacity, I can paint in that sky from the darker exposure. And I can do that a couple of times if I want to strengthen the effect. And with a brush at a 50% opacity, I can even bring in some of that water there. And if I finish blending, I can press Deselect and then possibly bring down the opacity of that layer if the sky is a little bit dark. And here is the before and after. See, we've blended in the sky beautifully and we've got a very balanced scene. And after that, there's lots of things we could do. If we wanted to, we could go to the Colors panel, press Warm and add some warmth to the image and we can clip that to the darker exposure so we're only affecting the sky. You see, we're making the sky and some of the reflection a little bit warmer. We could also open up a curves layer and clip that to the sky and we can deepen the contrast and color in the sky. And that's the beautiful thing about exposure blending. Because we have different areas in our image on different layers or different exposures, we can make very specific adjustments. So that's a before and after. So those are three ways to exposure blend in Raya Pro. We do actually have other ways to do exposure blending as well, including gradient masks and blend if, but these three are the most effective in my opinion. So thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed the tutorial.